All right, hello again. My name's Theo for Kilo Med. We're going to be going over part two of three for our model KX2600 KV ultrasound machine. Uh, so we're going to be going over the center area of the computer. Uh, just before we get started, a reminder again, this is a CRT monitor, so the flashing that you're seeing is only seen when you video record it as now, but in person that will not be there, so don't worry. Uh, so we'll start off right in the center with the focus button. What the focus button does is kind of self-explanatory. It increases or decreases the number of focus is that we have on our screen. So you can start off with one, we could go two, three, four, and that varies depending on the type of probe that you're using. Once you have uh, several, you can't really move them, but if you only have one focus point, using the arrows off to the side of the screen, you can adjust the height of the focus itself. So not so bad at all. Moving along right under that, there's a wave with an F, and that adjusts your frequency. So frequency is used, um, and, and that's how we can change the quality, the resolution of the image, as well as how deep we can see within whatever we're scanning. So the higher the frequency, the better the image quality, but the less depth that we can see well. If we increase, if we decrease the frequency, we can see further, however our image quality slightly does decrease because of the waves that we're using. So that's a button that does play a role in your everyday scanning. It's not hard to figure out once you play with it a little bit. But the higher the frequency, basically, the better the image quality, the less depth you can see, the lower the number, the lower the quality image, the deeper you can see in the image. Uh, moving along, we're going to go to the right side here with the magnifying glass. And this adjusts our depth. So if we hit it, we we'll keep zooming in, and you can see the depth number here in millimeters specifically. So the more you zoom in, the less the depth. We start off at this probe at 111, and it goes all the way down to 60 or 50, actually 49. And that varies from probe to probe as well. Moving along, there's a screen within a screen, and that basically is our high resolution zoom. So we have gel on the ultrasound probe now, so you can see how it works. But basically, when you hit it in, a small square will come up on the image. And that, in turn, can then be shifted to wherever you want on the screen. So if you're looking at a specifically a cyst or a joint or a follicle or whatever specific you're looking at, you can blow that up and zoom in only in that area with good resolution to see what's going on. Uh, another button, continuing along, the D+. So this button is used when you're doing measurements, uh, both for OB or for regular, and what that does is it allows you to set the viewpoint so if you have a measurement, you're starting an endpoint for straight lines or for ellipses, so, it, so you can get accurate measurements. Going back to the other side, we're going to go to our frame correlation button. So this is another button that is for the physics. It kind of adds the frames together. It's not something that most people use, but some people do like to adjust. So it's kind of a button that you probably won't be using for the average user. Another button that we're using here is a screen with a dotted line. This is, for example, a biopsy screen. So you can have biopsy adapters for our probes, or if you're specifically used to coming in at a certain angle, that basically gives you a line of sight for when you enter with the needle. Some people like to use it for biopsy, some people don't, but it is an option that is available for our machine. Uh, another button here that's going to be kind of popular is the OB button. And basically that just brings up the OB calculation packages. Uh, this is currently set for veterinary use, so it shows you all the different types of animals we can do. So depending on the type of animal you're scanning, you'll then click on that to get that specific OB package set up. So that concludes part two of three of our machine. Once again, remember that the updating that you see on the screen is just because it's a CRT monitor, and we'll see you for part three of three shortly.